Well, now the first quarter final in the men's 800 meters. That's the lineup. Rudel Hoven of Norway in one. Soderman of Finland in two. Ebner, Austria in three. Sorezzo, Spain in four. Benvenuti, Italy in lane five. Dranovsky of Czechoslovakia in lane six. Diara, France in lane seven. And Demel of Germany in lane number eight. The first three from the quarterfinals go through into the semifinals, plus the four fastest losers. Tom McKean goes in the third quarterfinal, and uh, Craig Winrow goes in the final quarterfinal. Those are the two Britons involved. A word from Brenda Foster. Well, the qualifications here, the four fastest losers going through, gives them an extra chance to go through to the semi-final. The heats today, semi-finals tomorrow, and the final, they get a day's rest. So it's not a very hectic schedule. And if you look at the, one of the favorites there, Andrea Benvenuti, the Italian, fifth in the Olympic Games. And this is a, a lower standard event than the Olympic Games, obviously, because the Kenyans aren't present here. The Kenyans have dominated the 800 meters for quite a few years. And the European Championship has probably been the 800 meters. It's probably been Britain's best event. And I just hope that Tom McKean can get something back, some way back to his best, better form, and then Tom could have a chance in the final. The athletes still being introduced to the crowd. Ben Venuti, if he's anything like back to form, is the man to watch in this. But he's had a bit of a struggle this season. Nevertheless, he has run 144.08. Great world record that uh, you may have seen on that caption of Sebco's dates back a long way. And don't forget, this event is run very, very often indeed. It goes back to 1981. It shows the quality of that run. Check on the lineup again. The athletes and the crowd getting a bit restless. The hold up, you can see the cameraman there. He's working for Finnish television. And they can see them running along the lanes to get close-ups of the individual athletes. And the crowd can see that happening as well on the big screen. They don't like it very much. And that's the close-up, actually, of the final athlete out there, Damel, in lane eight for Germany. They've been running very well all the time here, but they're two minutes late with this one. The first quarter final of the men's 800 meters. The first three go through as of right, plus the four fastest losers. They break as they come off this bend at the beginning of the back straight. Daniel of Germany has gone off very quickly and Diara of France. They're on the outside. Diara comes right across the others. Benvenuti's up there for Italy. It's Daimler of Germany who takes it on. Daimler leads. Diara alongside Udelhoven of Norway. Udelhoven moves through to hold the curb position. Damel slowing it down. Really, they're almost jogging now. Udelhoven of Norway on the inside. Benvenuti in the blue vest of Italy being tracked by the Spaniard, Sorezzo. 55-6-0 at the bell. It's going to be quite a scramble now. All eight athletes very much involved. Udal Houghton leads. Damel in second place. Diara is third. Then the uh, Czech, Dranovsky, better known over longer distances. But suddenly Udal Houghton on the inside stretches them. Damel of Germany in second place. Diara of France is third. Ben Deniti four. Under 200 left. The first three only sure to qualify. Sorezzo of Spain now showing in fifth place. Udelhoven and the all-white. Benvenuti comes wide for Italy. Damon is beginning to struggle a bit. And it's Benvenuti now who hits the front. And the fin is coming on the near side. Soderman. The first three go through. Benvenuti, Sorezzo of Spain, and Soderman of Finland. The crowd enjoyed that enormously. 
And I must say, the spin came from a long way back, but he timed it right. The time slow, 148.88. Well, Benvenuti had no problems with that one. Cruised through, got an easy run, got an easy run through. Not tested at all, but two more days, two more races. The Spaniards are doing very well at these games. Pareto there qualified very well. And the Finns, well, at least the Finns have got something to shout about on the track for the first time. They've had a sour time out here. The gold medal came in the walk. And there, there we see the closing stages. Benvenuti, the Italian, in complete control. Pareto challenging, working hard. And then the Finn Soderman comes up with a great finish. And the crowd at least got something to shout about today. So the qualifiers, Benvenuti, Cereso, and Soderman of Finland. And that slow race means if the uh, other three quarterfinal heats, if they use their heads in that, well, they get past this loser's position. Or have a chance of it. Well, they certainly should be able to run 148. But Benvenuti there hasn't done very much this season but come out with a 144 800 meter race just before these championships started you can see the Finn Soderman he's looking strong there Benvenuti in complete control and Cerezo Spain in second place well those are the three qualifiers it was always bound to be a bit of a scramble off the last bend but Soderman got to out of trouble to the delight of the Finnish crowd Meanwhile, on the warm-up track, getting ready for the 400-meter final, we saw Roger Black earlier, Dwayne Ledesio with his coach, Tony Hadley. He and Roger Black, the two fastest Europeans this year, identical times, 44.98, or uh, 9.4, rather. Tony Hadley, coming from the Midlands, took